Hey guys, a quick video today. I've been trying my best to get my hands on one of these units, the new uh, Rexair Rainbow. This is the SRX unit. Um, these are in. These are the newest models they've been selling for, I guess, the last year. Um, but I've not been able to find one. I've done videos on Quantum and uh, Hyla, uh, Delphin, uh, even the older Rainbows, the Black Series uh, with the uh, different power head. But this is the newest best i won't say greatest because we've already been playing around with this and i was a little disappointed in this unit for the money that you spend on this machine it's the build quality to me is just not there um, they have changed the whole look of the machine um, it's now got struts in it the water basin is extremely smaller um, so that means if you're using this in a home that you have to constantly keep check on the water um, I watched a video the other last night of a girl that had actually used this without checking the water and it was literally she couldn't dump anything out it all the crap that she was sucking up looked like big gobs of matted hair in the bottom of the machine when it gets that dirty it's not picking up anything all of your stuff is going straight through the motor and out to the HEPA filter on the back so Quick, quick uh, run through on the attachments. Let me show you the new power head. Um, I'm a little disappointed in this. Everything that you see on the machine now is blue. Those are touch points. That is items that will move. Um, even the power button on the top of the machine is blue now. This is the new power head. It's not a lot to it. Uh, we just played around and I'll insert the clip here in a few minutes with sand on the floor. It does not do a good job on grit on bare floor. That wasn't the face I wanted, but. I'm trying. And it's on high. No, we're trying here. Look at this is going but that's your release pedal. This is all plastic. It's basically the same um, joint that was used in the previous power heads. Um, but the way this is designed, this has already started wearing some. It's not, it's not locking in the upright position. Um, it's just metal and plastic in there and it's already deteriorating. Um, LED lights across the front. You do have a bleeder valve or if you go back to the mid 80s, uh, early 90s, the rectangular power heads used to have had a slider across the top. It was just cheap plastic. That was designed to let airflow come in. So if you were running over shag carpeting or rugs or whatever, it would decrease the airflow that was coming in the machine in the power head. So that's on there. I'm not a big fan of that. Um, bigger wheels on the back. They're non-marring. Um, those are nice. And they've gone to a metal brush roll with softer bristles. No more spinny wheels on the side, which were useless in my opinion. You've still got the center uh, belt. It is a geared belt, so it should not break like the old uh, rubber ones um, from years gone by. Um, but I don't like the center channel. All of your dirt and everything goes to the center channel here, has to bypass the belt. I just don't like that design. If you suck up something, um, I did not try it. I'm sure that this thing will break the belt. If you suck up a sock or something like that, it's not gonna have an automatic shut off. There is no reset button on the power head either. So just be warned. Wands are the same. Um, everything clicks apart, direct connect. The hose, a little different. There used to be a locking mechanism on this trigger. This controls the power on the head. No more lock. You, if you're using the unit, you have to keep it depressed. It's not hard. I would think if you're cleaning a large area though, after a while, it would get tiresome. To me, I don't have an exact tape measure, but I think the diameter of the hose is smaller than the older uh, units from two years ago. Um, no suction control slider on the, on the handle either. They take, took that away. And they've gone from a round inlet to now an oval inlet. And you can see this little piece here. This is just a piece of metal. In here, you've got a magnet. You've got two rocker, I call them two balls, that rock this thing. There you go. You just insert, lift it up, and it locks it into place. You've got a trigger release on the handle itself. So that is the new designed inlet for the hose. 
The attachments are the same, um, power nozzle manual, main manual, you've got your horsehair dust brush, same design. They've included a pet hair, um, if you want to vacuum the dog or cat, if you can hold that pussy down. Um, inflator tool, uh, upholstery, removable brush. They've actually added this unit. This is for wet pickup. Um, I do like that. You can take it apart and clean it um, for upholstery or wet pickups. If you've, got, if you've just so happened to crack an egg on the floor and you needed to pull the vacuum out, 15 minutes later you're sucking up your egg. Um, your extension to clean dryer vents goes on the uh, inflator tool here. And then your standard um, bare floor brush. Um, with horse hair on that as well. So not a lot of changes in the attachments other than the wet pickup upholstery tool. And under the bottom, you've got your bag, which if you've ever seen a rainbow demo, they take your cushions or your bed pillows, whatever, and they throw it in the bag, they suck it down. That is supposed to suck all the contaminants out of your pillows. I'm sorry, put them in the damn washing machine. Uh, they give you an extra belt. Um, but that's about it. You should be able to suck the crap out of it, turn it around, turn this thing around, connect your hose, and inflate clean air back into your pillows. No, that ain't gonna happen. But that's your attachment set. I'll set this to the side. Uh, fresh air, this was uh, labeled as a disinfectant sanitizer you should be able to put in your water and it's gonna sanitize the air in your home. Um, it's made by Rainbow. There's alcohol in here, preservatives, fragrances. I won't even go there. This is the main unit. Uh, you've got your main power button. They've actually, uh, the way they've designed this new motor now, it takes off like a jet engine. That's supposed to wow people. It, it's always going to come on high when you hit the power button. You do have an adjustable control here. Nice little LED lights. You can decrease the motor speed. And that's the lowest setting. You've still got two LED lights in the water basin. Um, to me, the lowest speed here, and we've been playing with this so you see some stuff floating around the water, the lowest speed's not agitating the water enough to do anything. It's just basically pulling air through the machine. Now you do have a larger HEPA filter on the back. This, ma this machine did not come with a muffler on the front. He said that uh, the guy that I got this from, it was not included in his sale. So they do have a muffler that's supposed to pop on here, but honestly, at this speed, you're supposed to be able to run this thing 24 hours a day. I would not recommend anybody run this thing 24 hours a day. They do sell the smaller Rainmate um, air fresheners you can put in a bedroom or a kitchen. Now, I do personally have one of those, and I do run it all the time in my bedroom. Um, but just like with this, you have to keep changing the water out because water evaporates. You run this machine 24 hours a day, your water le level will start decreasing. So that's the same thing as, as when you're using this machine to clean with, you have to constantly check the water. The dirtier the water gets, the more debris, the more junk that's in the water, the less water is going to grab the dust and stuff coming into the machine. So thus you end up with that big old clump of nastiness that that girl had in her video last night that I was watching. Um, I left the tool caddy at home. Um, this has a slip on just like the old machines where it will hold three attachments on the front of the machine or it will attach onto the wand. And then like I was saying, this is the little hood that, you're, that hides your electrical connection and then your magnet for your hose on there. Um, it's moving air, but it's not moving a lot. The biggest difference with this, and you can, I don't have all the ins and outs on this, there's a way if you wanted to run this at night and one of the lights cut off, you can bypass the lights. I don't know the button sequence on this. I do know that you can do that with this. There's a timer function on here and I'm not sure. I'm thinking it's like 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, maybe an hour um, that you can set this to run. Um, 
you do have, while this is still running, you do have a cord wrap now. The older machines did too. They had the wings that flew out on the side. Um, this is cheap plastic. It's going to eventually break if you pull hard on it. And I'm sure some mom with kids has already been through that. Um, but that's all that is there. I took the exhaust door off. That's your opening for the exhaust. But if you wanted to use it as a blower, it attaches just like that to the back of the machine. And you're supposed to be able to blow leaves or whatever in God's name you want to blow with it. Um, I'm going to turn this thing off. It's back on. If you do leave the machine running, if you set it on a timer function, um, it will, the light still, once the timer's done, the machine shuts off, but all of the lights and even the white light up here on the timer will still be lit. There is something in the unit, I don't know exactly what it is, but it, it still hums along until you lift the water basin or physically turn the unit off. I guess it's just to remind you to, I don't know. I don't, know, I don't have the answer to that. Maybe some of y'all have one of these, you know the answer. But the water basin on this unit, I don't have the exact measurements on that either. Again, this is just a unit that I'm playing with and, and, and I had never laid my eyes on one, but this is a much smaller water basin. That just means that again, you will have to constantly check the water. Um, and when it gets dirty, dump it and put fresh in. This is on a strut system now, so it automatically opens up. You do have your separator in here. They have changed the nut design on this. Um, you've got a rubber gasket. Other than that, it's, a, it's just a simple machine. Um, same type wheels on the base, five wheels. And I will say this did glide a little bit easier than the other model on my rugs that I had. So let's put this little bad boy to the test. So if, you, if you're just getting the unit, you fill it up with water, slide it in here, you have to hear it click to release it. And there you go. I will say that's pretty neat in the fact that it's no hassle. The quantum that I just did a video on here recently uh, was very aggravating to attach the hose. So I'm gonna turn this thing on. And again, if you can see, all the lights are lit up. That means it's on high. If you wanted to decrease, that's your button. You've got a plus button to go back up to. And then your timer function here. Again, I'm assuming that's 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, or an hour. So let's just see what we've got on pull on this. All right, let's check airflow. I'm holding it right. We're getting some gravity help. Hold it just vertical, and then we'll see what it does. You going to flip it? Then, if you get it correct, let's hold it this way. And the old wing though used to pull a one. Last year's model. So my opinion, and it's just my opinion, I don't know why you would spend a couple grand on a machine like this. Um, it is very lackluster. I was expecting something to wow me, but there's nothing on this machine compared to the older model um, that has wowed me. I honestly feel like they've decreased the power in the motor somewhat. I don't know. What was the power on the old one you said? On the airflow meter? Yeah. We could get it to pull one, a little over a one, which is the industry standard for rainbow. 
and this was a we about so maybe a little more. So I don't know. We did a we did a quick floor test, uh, and I and I'll do that real fast. I'll get a little bit of sand to put over here, um, and show you the carpet head in action. Uh, this thing on bare flooring was horrendous. It picked up nothing. Um, I guess that's why they give you that big floor brush tool to um, thank you to get all your junk off your bare floors. So I'm gonna just sprinkle a little bit of sand. I'm not gonna do dog hair, anything like that. I know some of these die-hard rainbow people on this watching these videos. Um, it is shut, just in case anybody wants to know. Actually, I'm second guessing myself. Now it's shut. There is agitation. still see some. Two passes, three passes, it's gone. And again, you can see it's plastic on metal. It's not wanting to stand up straight. And we can't even get, and I say we, House of Vacuums of the Triad, or any vacuum uh, repair shop for that matter, cannot get these parts in yet. So if you break something, you're going to have to take it to an authorized rainbow distributor or dealer to get repair parts for it. So my recommendation is go with a, always go with a bag vacuum. Uh, we, uh, in the clip I'll put on here, you'll see the uh, SIBO, fantastic machine, and you're spending seven, eight, nine hundred dollars for a unit versus two to three K, depending on who you buy the machine from, which if you're spending that much money on a machine from door to door salesman, you need to be shot. Great section. Gone. And you know what the glorious thing is? If you put that sand right next to this rug, it will suck out of your So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, again, disappointed. I think that there are other machines out there that do a better job than this. I would personally, if I had to choose right now between the two, I would go with the older Hyla uh, with the adjustable wands. The one, the video that I posted here in the last month or two, I did not like that new design on those, but I personally think the Hyla did a better job than the new Rainbow SRX. But I will have haters that hate and people that agree. So take this video for what it's worth. This is just my honest opinion and my view of this machine. Thank you.